My stepdad, Scott Mock, you know, built the Sunoco Camaro, the blue Sunoco Camaro, and I've been watching him build cars over, you know, the last 10 years or so, and that's kind of how I learned how to do it. And uh, he helped me out a little bit, but I did, you know, most, most all the work on, on the suspension and the front subframe and everything on this car. Built the car, you know, at home in my little two-car garage over the last three years, and it's a real, you know, budget, purpose-built car to come do this stuff. But I, I did everything, you know, as cheap as I could, about everything myself to save money and uh, may still make a car that you know, performed and drove well. You know, the the front suspension, it's stock Camaro front suspension. I modified the lowers. I built my own upper control arms. It's got a Speedway Engineering spline sway bar in it. It's got Corvette uh, Z51 brakes, just factory Corvette brakes. They're 13 and a half in the front, 13 in the rear. I bought Mojo axles, but I built my own rear and housing. I mean, I built everything on the car, really. But I started with a bare shell and did all the sheet metal work, and then went to suspension, you know, built my own front subframe and front suspension, and then put the, the Ridetech four link in the rear. And we started with, you know, non-adjustable pullover shocks, and uh, then we stepped up and, and put the ride tech components in it, triple adjustable shocks. Uh, it's got an LS1 and 256 in it, manual transmission. Well, I mean, the, the whole goal behind the car was to, to make it, you know, perform and, and handle, you know, as best as possible because I'm really, you know, into this autocross and, and, and road racing stuff. That's the whole purpose behind this car is to come to these events. But, This, this course here in Iowa is a lot longer and you know more of a high speed course than a lot of the good guys autocrosses we go to and uh, you know because of that you have to make your you know suspension tuning a little different than you you would the, the more you know short tight technical autocrosses every ch every track you know it's always changing you know it's never just perfect it stays that way you always have to change it and, and make it right so Tire, tire pressures, uh, shocks, and sway bars is really about all we do as far as uh, suspension tuning. If you, if you go in the corner and, and the car won't turn in, you know, it's, it's pushing, uh, you need to, you know, soften up the front or stiffen up the rear to get it to transition, you know, to, to loosen the car up a little bit so that it'll turn in. If it's the other way around, if it's too loose when you go in the corner and wants to slide out, you got to go the other way with it and I mean just basically how the car is turning into the corner and, and you know coming off the corner is what you have to pay attention to and, and kind of make your adjustments off of that. And I really this is the first weekend of playing with the triple you know adjustable shocks and uh, uh, this weekend I kind of went with the low and high speed I kept them about the same and along with the rebound and uh, I just kept going softer on the front to try to get it to you know, transition and roll a little bit to get the front to turn and then stiffened up the rear and uh, you know, to try to loosen the car up a little bit. Uh, by the end of the weekend, you know, we, we improved a lot and uh, really got the car to turn and it felt you know, a lot better. And uh, you know, it, just, it, it has real good street manners, but then you can go beat the crap out of it and it still handles and performs well too. So that's, that's the cool thing about these shocks and I'm sure it'll, you know, we'll, we'll keep working on it and get it even better from here, so.